in XRD analysis, it is commonly observed that the peak intensity are higher at lower two theta, and this intensity decreases when the two theta increases. Here we can see that why peak intensity is high at lower two theta. Let me show you here in this diagram we can see that the peak intensity are higher at lower two theta and the intensity decreases when the two theta increases. Similarly, look, uh, this is another paper and we can see that the peak intensity are higher at lower two theta and the peak intensity decreases when the two theta increases. This is another uh, important figure. We can see that the, the, the all higher peaks are at lower two theta and when the two theta increases, the peaks getting decreases. Let's explain this phenomena from the XRD setup. This setup is basically called theta versus two theta. This setup is basically called theta versus theta setup. In this case, the X-ray tube is stationary while the sample rotated theta per minute and the detector rotated 2 theta per minute. This is the difference here. So this is this is basically the deflected angle. The angle we see on the x-axis of XRD patron. So at lower 2 theta, this lower 2 theta mean 10 degree or 20 degree or maximum 40 degree, we can see that for the ancient x-ray, there is large volume of the sample. So there, there is a higher probability for the incident x-ray to scatter from the crystal. This is why we have a, a higher peaks. Once this sample is rotating like this, 1245 degree, and this detector is also rotating. So at the later stage, when this two theta is higher, uh, 60 degree, 70 degree, so there is very less probability for the x-ray to scatter. This is why we get uh, lower XRD peaks. Now let's explain from this theta versus theta as uh, setup. Here the sample is stationary, the X-ray tube is rotating theta per minute and the detector is also rotating theta per minute here. So at lower two theta, this, this is the lower two theta stage here, again we can see here there is a, a large volume for the incident X-ray. So we, we, we can see that there, there is a higher probability, scattering probability for the incident uh, x-ray at lower 2 theta. Now once, once this x-ray tube is rotating here and this detector is also rotating, so x-ray will reach here and the, the detector will reach here. So we can see that the 2 theta is increasing now. The 2 theta is basically increasing. That, that will be 2 theta. And then we can see that there is very less volume for the x-ray. So less probability for the x-ray to scatter. This is why uh, peak intensity is high at lower 2 theta or the peak intensity decreases with the increasing 2 theta. The scenario is more clear uh, from this diagram. We see that uh, these are basically plane here and this is the incident x-ray and these are the reflected x-ray. And we can see here this is basically uh, this is basically the two theta angle here, the two theta angle here. So when the, the two theta is smaller, so there is, there is a more probability for the X-ray to scatter from the uh, electrons, from the atoms, from the unit cells. When this two theta is increases, so this means that there is a less probability for the X-ray to scatter. And another important thing is, uh, when, when the two theta is greater, uh, there is, there is a, the, the, the X-ray goes some, something like this deep here and it passes from many planes here and, and there, is, there is a much uh, probability for the X-ray to absorb uh, without reflections. If you want to answer this question in one line, so the answer is basically due to higher scattering probability. At smaller to theta, low diffraction angle, this means the ancient X-ray interact with larger volume of the sample. As I explained, it mainly the thickness of the crystal uh, layer that keep the intensity decreasing uh, with the increasing two theta value. If you look here, when, when the two theta is smaller, so 
the 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 the, the X-ray scatter from the uh, near surfaces. But when the two theta is greater, so the X-ray scatter from the deep, and it is very very rare uh, to get diffraction phenomena. So we can see that at a lower two theta angle, the illuminated area is large, very important, and at a higher two theta angle less area is irradiated or illuminated this is why at higher two theta we have less intensity fee while at lower two theta we have greater intensity peak